Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, not too bad. Not too okay. bad. Okay, not too bad, you say. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody, good to see you. Just let me find the file here. Okay, I found it. Just give me a second as I get everything ready for this class. Just a moment. Okay, I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. And I'm going to call the attendance. When you hear your name, please let me know. Okay, just a moment. All right. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alexis. Present. Okay, thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present, present. Sí. Present. Okay. Alicia Perez. Okay. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Tell me Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Presente. Okay, thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm going to get a bit closer. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. No. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalva. Present. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present. <clears throat> Thank you. Still sick? Todavía. Anda malito. Bastante. Tratando okay. de salir adelante. Ok, I'm sorry. Ok, Delson Eduardo Alfaro. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. 
Present. Thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodriguez Benitez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Dominguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we have some chat entries here. Uy, están diciendo aquí que me equivoqué con el año. Tiene razón, vamos a corregirlo ahorita. <laughs> okay, thank you for the correction. Okay, eh, Delmi Alexandra nos comunica que ya está por acá. Okay. Vamos entonces a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Oscar. Ok, thank you. Ah, perdón, me equivoqué de Oscar. Sería Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Ya usted ya le había tomado asistencia. Oscar Mauricio. No. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Ok. Let's begin. Everybody, welcome once again. Ok, this is... A second here. Okay. I feel the password. Okay. Uh, welcome, everybody. This is English Pre Intermedio, Modulo 1. Once again, that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. And this is session 16. And today is June the 15th of 2023. Today we finished this course. So, first, we're going to have a very quick review on uh, the grammar. Okay. So, everybody, take a look at this. This is the grammar focus. The grammar focus is all about quantifiers, okay? It's quantifiers. So uh, take a look. Quantifiers come depending on uh, on a scale. That's 100% and then there is 0%, okay? So just a moment, please. Okay, so when you have 100%, you use all, okay? For example, you can say all families have only one child, okay? You can use uh, nearly all, okay, which is casi todas. Nearly all families have only one child in China, right? Then you have most, la mayoría. Most families have only one child. Now you have many, many, just muchas, and similar to a lot of, it's very, very, it's pretty much the same, many and a lot of. Many families are smaller these days, or a lot of families are smaller these days. Okay? What about the next one? Some, which is unas, o algunas. Some families are smaller these days. Then you have not many. Not many couples have more than one child. No muchas, okay? Not many couples have more than one child. No muchas parejas tienen más de un hijo. A few, unas pocas, a few couples have more than one child. And finally, you have few, pocas, okay? Few couples have more than one child. Finally, you have 0%, which is no one. It's the same as nobody. No one gets married before the age of 18. 
okay? So no one gets married before the age of 13. And uh, we did this exercise yesterday, if I remember correctly, okay? So right here, you have the same scale, 100% is old, 0% no one. So you have all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. Take a look. You say, for example, uh, rewrite these sentences using quantifiers, then compare with a partner, okay? So um, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we completed this yesterday, but we're going to do it again as a review, okay? Como repaso. You have, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. I need a volunteer, but this time you have to use the quantifiers. In China, you can say, 50% is a lot of people. So what can you say? Luis Alfredo. In China, some of women get married by the age of 22. Okay, uh, the grammar is good, but when you say some, 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 some is, is, is less than 50%. 50% is a lot of people. It's half the population. So maybe you can use a different quantifier, one that is more appropriate. A lot of, a lot of women. Okay, okay. Can you say the complete sentence, please? Um, uh, ¿Me puede ayudar con la oración completa? ¿Luis? Eh, estoy intentando. Ah, ok, la... ok. Como eh, lo había dicho, solo que ahora con a lot of, como me dijo luego, ¿verdad? In I China. Uh -huh. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Yeah, in China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22, or many women get married by the age of 22, because 50% is a lot of people, definitely. Now, uh, pronunciation. This is from a different class, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, so uh, singular form, you have woman, and then you have the plural form, which is women, okay? The pronunciation changes. Not just by, uh, not just because the spelling is different in one letter. This is woman, woman, woman. It's singular, and the plural is women, women. You pronounce we, women. So in this case, you have in China a lot of women get married by the age of twenty-two. Thank you, Luis. Very good. We will continue now. What about the second one in Australia? 87% of married couples have children. What about this one? I need a volunteer for it. Juan Antonio, and then Isaac, number three. In Australia, most married couples have children. In Australia, most married couples have children, or nearly all married couples have children, like El Salvador. <laughs> in El Salvador, nearly all married couples have children. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Isaac, number three, in the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. In the United States, no one, people vote before the age of 18. Of when you say no one, it's not necessary to say people. Okay. Uh -huh. In United States, no one vote before the age of 18. Yeah. In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Ahora veamos acá. Dice votes with an S, like in present simple for he, she, it. ¿Por qué es eso? Le voy a explicar acá. Estos pronouns que vimos ayer, these pronouns we studied yesterday, which are nobody and the equivalent, no one, I'm going to uh, use this. You say somebody, give me a moment. Okay, 
somebody and then someone, anybody and anyone, and then everybody and everyone, okay? Todos estos pronouns van seguidos de a verb in third person singular form. Always. Siempre. Todos estos pronombres que están acá, nobody, no one, somebody, someone, anybody, anyone, everybody, and everyone, they're always followed by a verb in third person singular form. This can be a little confusing, okay? Puede ser un poco confuso porque alguien me va a decir, teacher, pero cuando usted dice everybody, se refiere a varias personas, es decir, como they, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿por qué voy a decir everybody votes? Tiene razón, si me pregunta eso. Pero la regla es, gramaticalmente, todos estos sujetos cuentan como tercera persona singular, incluso si se refieren a varias personas. Por lo tanto, el verbo que usted va a utilizar después de cada uno de ellos va a ser en third person singular. O sea, sería, nobody knows, nobody lives, nobody votes, etc. Ok, like he, she, it. That's the idea. Ok. That's why here you have in the United States 0% of the people. People is a plural noun. It's they. Vote. They vote before the age of 18. Pero al reemplazar esto, 0% of the people por un pronoun, uno de estos que sería no one, then you have to use the third person singular form of the verb. In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18, or in the United States, nobody votes before the age of 18. Always remember, okay, these pronouns, nobody, no one, somebody, someone, anybody, anyone, everybody, and everyone are followed by a verb in third person singular form. O sea que si fuera el verb be, tendría que ir, ¿cuál iría? Yo dijera, nobody, y luego el verb be, ¿cuál sería la forma? Who knows this? Marina, maybe you know? No? You're raising your hand? No, ok. Era para la otra. Ok, va, va para la cuarta usted entonces. Ok, so uh, what about this one? Si fuera el verb be, por ejemplo, el verbo ser o estar, es decir, am, is, or are, ¿cuál sería la forma correcta? Según lo que acabamos de explicar. Uh -huh. Vaya, una pista. Ahí está la clave. Entonces, si ocupamos el verb be, que sería am, is, or are, ¿cuál nos quedaría con nobody? Isaac. Um, si usáramos la tercera persona del singular, sería el is. Correct. Nobody is. Somebody is. Anybody is. Everybody is. Así es. Siempre con estos pronombres, usted va a utilizar el verbo como en third person singular, como si el sujeto fuera he, she, o it. Ok. Always. I'm going to share this with you. Via WhatsApp. Where's the group? Can find it. Okay, here.
Okay, I just sent it to you. So um, let's continue. So in the United States, no one or nobody votes before the age of 18. What about number four, Marina? In the four. Yes. Someone that people in Germany live alone. I'm sorry, I didn't read it before. No lo había leído, perdón. Okay, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Okay, so uh, what is it? Someone, people in Germany live alone. But not someone, because someone is not a quantifier. The quantifiers are all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, and few. No, some people. Some people, uh-huh. Some. some people in Germany live alone. Okay. Aunque para mí, bueno, esa era la respuesta sugerida en el, en el material, pero para mí 35% is a lot of people, in my opinion. Okay, but okay, some people in Germany live alone. That's good. Thank you very much, Marina. And the last one, okay, 78% of American high school students have jobs. In the United States, it is permitted to have a legal job if you are a high school student. Many high school students have a job and they and they study at the same time. So um, who has this one? Raise your hand if you do, please. Luis Josué nos dice que ya está por acá. Vamos a tomar su asistencia. Thank you, Luis. Okay, Ada Verónica. A lot of... Uh, American high school students have jobs. jobs. A lot of American high school students have jobs. I guess grammatically it is correct, but 78% is a lot more. Creo que nos queda mejor otro quantifier ahí. Poco más alto. Many? Many. Mm. Higher, higher. Some. <laughs> no, some is lower. Some is lower. Many. 78%? Seven, that's a very high percentage of the population. Must. Most. Okay, so what's the complete uh, sentence? Um... Most of American high school students have jobs. Most American high school students have jobs. That is correct. Okay, most, la mayoría. Okay, very good. So, um, all right, we have this. And now, just give me a second. Coming back to this. We are going to do this extra exercise. Just give me a moment, please. Solo regáleme un momentito. Está. Just a second, please. Okay, right here. Now, what are we going to do? Take a look. I'm sorry about the small, you know, um, uh, picture, okay? But I want you to take a look. Rewrite these sentences about the United States using the quantifiers given. You have some charts right here, I'm going to zoom out. Where children go to school, okay? 85% public school, 15%, private school. So 85% of children go to public schools. 15% of children go to private schools. Because in the United States, private schools are very, but 
very, very expensive. So you have most children go to public school. What about the other one? Who can tell me? ¿Cuál sería la otra? Nelson. Creo que también no se la dejo. If you children go to the private school. You what? Sorry, you. you? Private. Children, perdón. Children go to the private school. Few children go to private school. Okay. Few children, few, few, lo voy a poner ahí, lo siento. Few children go to private school. I'm sorry, I need to correct that. Okay, yeah, few children go to private schools. There you go, very good, thank you, Nelson. What about number two? Now you can see the other chart. What people do after they finish high school. Hmm? Después de terminar el bachillerato. What people do after they finish high school. 65% go to college. They go to university. 31% look for work. And 4% they do other things. We don't know. Okay. So what about this? 65% of young people go to college after they finish high school. 31% of young people look for work. So what about this one? I need a volunteer. Please. Okay, Idalia Margarita. Many young people go to college after they finish. After they finish high school, right? High school. Yeah, many high young school. people go to college after, no le puse they finish porque no cabía, pero after high school también funciona. Okay, but yeah, correct. Okay, many young people go to college after high school. Very good. What about uh, the next sentence? Some. Me disculpo por lo pequeñito de la letra, pero no podía ser que copiara todo eso en una diapositiva. So, um, what about the next one? Some. Thank you, Dalia. Very good. Who knows? Please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Luis Alfredo. Some young people look for work. Uh, what young people? Some young people look for work? Work. Some young people work for for work. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. But the complete idea is some young people look for work after high school or after they finish high school. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Luis. Number three. Take a look at the chart. What people sixty-five and over do? Lo que hace la gente de sesenta y cinco años en adelante. Okay, 95% talk, <laughs> they talk, 43% uh, have a hobby, and 8% go on the internet. So take a look, 95% of people over 65 like to talk to family and friends, 43% like to spend time on a hobby, and 8% of people over 65 like to spend time on the internet. So what about this one? The first one is not many. Cuidado, que no está en el mismo orden. What about this one, not many? Ada Veronica. No, many eight per eight percent of people over um over two 
Okay, uh, remember that when you say not many, you don't have to mention the statistics. Al decir not many, eh, ya no es necesario decir el número exacto según la estadística. Uh -huh. Entonces decimos, not many what? What people? Not many people. Uh -huh. What people? Not many people? Use internet. Mm -hmm. But what kind of people? Um, six, five people. Sixty-five people. Uh, mm -hmm. not exactly. Not exactly. But okay, who can who can help Ada here? Quien nos ayuda por acá? Oscar. And not many people um, like to spend time on the internet. But if you say not many people like to spend time on the internet, you're talking about people in general. But here, if you notice, we're talking about people 65 and over. Es decir, de 65 años en adelante. So let's see what Juan Antonio Bran has to say. Uh, not many people over 65 like to spend time on the uh, internet. Not many people over 65 like to spend time on the internet. No a muchas personas de más de 65 les gusta pasar el tiempo en el internet, ¿verdad? Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Marina Amaya, what about the next one? A lot of... 43 fire. Mm -mm. No, remember, when you say a lot of, you don't mention the statistics. ¿Cómo? Al decir a lot of, ya no, ya no mencionamos el porcentaje porque ajá, ya pierde sentido mencionar el porcentaje, ¿verdad? A lot of what? A lot of. A lot of people, sí. Ah, a lot of people, a lot of people over like to spend time on the internet. Like to spend time on the internet. Mm, no, not really. But thank you for your participation, Marina. Oscar, do you know? A lot of people over 65 uh, like to spend time on a uh, hobby. That's correct. A lot of people over 65 like to spend time on a hobby. Hmm? That's 43% of people over 65. Thank you, Oscar. And what about the last one? Raise your hand if you know. Marina. Pues sí. One more time. One more time, <laughs> yes. Sí okay. Uh -huh. Tercera la vencida. N ah, correcto. Nearly all 95. Uh -uh. No, 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 remember. Uh, nearly uh -huh. all over 95 mm -mm. like to spend time. No, sorry. We're talking about people over 65. Okay, sorry. Estamos hablando de gente de 65 años en adelante. Entonces sería, si usted se fija en la primera, not many people over 65, bla, bla, bla. A lot of people over 65. And similarly, now you say nearly. 65, entonces, Ajá, en vez sería, de 95. Sería entonces, mm -hmm. nearly all. Nearly all people over 65 like yes. to spend time on a hobby. No, on uh, the internet. Uh, no. <laughs> um, sorry. Veamos lo que dice acá. 95% of people over 65 like to talk to family and friends. To talk to family and friends. Okay. So nearly all people over... Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Nearly all people over 65 like to talk to family and friends okay 
That's what they do. They they talk. They have conversations. Okay, very good. Now, following this, we're going to do this. Complete these sentences about your country. Use the words in the box. The words are all, nearly all, most, a lot of, some, few, and no. Okay. So, um, what about number one? In El Salvador, young people go to college. Ada Veronica. For example, all young people go to a college. All young people go to college, although college is like university. University. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, is it true in El Salvador? Is it that all young people go to college? All young people go to university? Some. Some, I will say. Uh -huh. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Some young people go to college. Okay. A mayoría. No pasan de bachillerato. Okay, so you have uh, some young people go to college. Desafortunadamente. Okay, a veces no hay condiciones. Para el estudio. Okay, veremos que eso cambia en el futuro. So, some young people go to college, not all of them. Okay, thank you, Ada Veronica. Number two. What about number two? People study English. Miguel Antonio. All, all people study English. All people in El Salvador? I mean, grammatically correct, okay, but uh, is it that all people, todos, todos, all people study English in El Salvador? Um, nearly all. Nearly all, okay. Okay, we can say that. Let's see, uh, Marina, do you do you agree? Sorry. No, no, it's okay, don't worry. It's an opinion, it's fine. No, no, I, no, no I agree. <laughs> uh, you agree? No, I agree. Ah, you say, I don't agree. No. No, 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 no estoy de acuerdo. Okay, so you can you can say it like this. You can say You can say I don't agree or I disagree. Okay? Oh, Cualquiera de estas dos puede ser. I don't agree or I disagree. Más elegante decir I disagree, de hecho. So I disagree. No estoy de acuerdo. So what is your opinion, Marina? Um, my opinion is your professional opinion because you work. Uh, uh, you you've done you've done studies on uh, statistics and education. So, podría ser a few or or some. A few or some people study English. Okay. Okay. Good. Although this is increasing, esto se está incrementando, verdad. Okay, for example, with these courses by by Insaforp, okay, it is now possible to study English for free. Basically, <laughs> you don't have to pay for it. The company pays for it. So, yeah, a few people study English or some people study English. Okay, y se está incrementando esto. Okay, well, thank you. Luis Alfredo, number three, married couples have more than five children. Mm -hmm. A lot of married couples have more than five children. A lot of... A lot of married couples have more than five children. That's a lot of children. <laughs> maybe in the, in the past, maybe. <laughs> in the past, this was very common. But in the present, mm, I think people have one, two, three children. Okay. Probably no more than three, okay? But yeah, there are some exceptions. In my opinion, at least, that will be uh, few, pocas, okay? Few married couples have more than five children in the present, okay? But in the past, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, that, that was very common to have five, six, seven, eight children. For example, in my case, right, in, in my family, right, from my mother's side of the family, I have, uh, th th there are eight children. There's my mother and seven siblings. And also, 
on the side of my father, it's the same story. It's my father and seven siblings. So it's eight children right there. So that's a lot of people, but in the past, 60 years ago, okay. <laughs> okay, but yeah, thank you for your participation, Luis. Okay, very good. Miguel Antonio, uh, number five, what do you have? Students have full-time jobs. I <clears throat> nearly all. Nearly all students have full-time jobs, okay. Nearly all students have full-time jobs. Casi todos los alumnos tienen trabajo a tiempo completo. Is that the case? Uh, bueno, yes, yes. Okay, all right. So there's the opinion right there. Okay. And number six. Okay, Luis Alfredo. Uh, I have a question. What's in your number, question? In the number four. Ah, I'm early. sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I skipped it. Me lo salté ahí. Elderly people, the meaning. Okay. The elder, elderly people. Okay, ¿cómo decirlo? Okay, elderly people. That means people who are 65 years old. And older, okay, that's the elderly people. Vaya gente de 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. La tercera edad. La tercera edad, ¿verdad? Esa es la forma, la manera formal de decirlo, elderly people. Procuren no decir nunca old people, porque suena como ofensivo, ¿verdad? Es decir, gente viejita o gente vieja, se oye un poco como feo, ¿verdad? Sí. Falta de respeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, para decirlo de forma o de manera uh, apropiada y de manera formal, se dice elderly people o simplemente the elderly. Uh -huh. The elderly, nada más. Es en inglés es which of all people. Sí, si uno dice all people suena como feito. Ajá, suena como... Gente. Gente vieja. No, se oye, se oye muy, 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 muy falto de respeto eso. Entonces, adulto mayor, se, se escucha mejor, es como así, elderly people, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, I'm sorry, I skipped number four, me salté la cuatro. Elderly people have part-time jobs in El Salvador. Luis, do you want to participate? Yes, uh, uh -huh. no elderly people, yo pienso. No elderly people have part-time jobs. No elderly people have part-time jobs, okay? Some elderly people have full-time jobs, but part-time jobs, that's that's very unlikely. Okay, thank you, Luis. Okay, good. Um, and number six, children go to school on Saturdays. Ada Veronica. No one children go to school on Saturdays. Okay, good. Solamente que... Cuando ocupamos un sustantivo como children, ya no podemos decir no one, sino que vamos a decir simplemente no. No children. Uh -huh. No children go to school on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Some children go to English class on Saturday. Okay, but to school, I don't think so. <laughs> Probably not. Al menos no que yo sepa. Okay, so yeah, that's it. No children go to school on Saturdays. Okay, great. All right, uh, people, we're going to have a, a very quick uh, review. Excuse me. Yes. Es la única excepción para children el quitarle el one? No, puede ser cualquier sustantivo. Cuando eh, recordemos que no one es un pronoun, por lo tanto, no, no one, digamos que sustituye a un sustantivo. Entonces, si yo digo no person, entonces sería el equivalente de decir no one o nobody. Aquí ya podemos nosotros decir no children, no man, no woman, no dog, etcétera, etcétera. Ok. Es decir, si tenemos un noun, entonces vamos a utilizar no. Pero si ya decimos, por ejemplo, no one man, ahí sí estaría incorrecto. 
Es decir, no solo children, sino que puede ser cualquier sustantivo. Okay. All right. So, uh, some exercises here. We're going to do this. This is a review. This is some extra practice. Let's go back to what we have studied, which is present continuous. Complete this conversation. Use the present continuous of the verb given. So, Joel says, you look tired, Don. You have studied. Are you studying late at night these days? And Don says, no, I'm not. My brother and sister, remember, you have to use present continuous only. What do you have? Oscar. No, I am not. Uh, my brother and sister is staying with me right now. You forgot something important. Sorry, you forgot something what? very important. You said my brother and sister staying, but something important is missing. Falta ahí algo importante. The verb be. Mm. So, my mm. brother and sister. Mm. No, I don't know. Okay, no problem. Juan Antonio Brand. No, I'm not. My brother and sister are staying, are staying. with me right now. Mm -hmm. Stay. Yeah, mm -hmm. my brother and sister are staying are staying with me right now. We go to bed after midnight every night. And Joel says, really? What? Raise your hand if you know. Ana Veronica. What are you doing? This okay, thing. but you forgot the subject. Falta el sujeto. It's a question. What what are doing? What are you? Mm -hmm. What are you? This summer. What are you doing this summer? Yeah. Uh-huh. Juan Antonio, the next one. Are you taking classes too? Ah, I'm Class? sorry. I made a mistake right here. Perdón. Okay. Estaba durmiendo yo también. <laughs> Sería, what are they doing this summer? Again, uh, Juan Antonio, let's use the same subject. Oh, Estamos okay. hablando de los hermanos. Are you? Ajá. 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 Okay, let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, second. Okay, I'll give you a second. Really, mm. what are you doing during this summer? They are taking classes too? Ah, they are. Mm -hmm. Because, okay. So it's a question, right? So Okay. Are they taking classes too? Are they taking classes too? Okay, good. And then Don says, no, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he, Idalia. He he is looking for a part-time job here. Correct. Okay, he is looking for a part-time job here. Thank you. And Joel says, what about your sister? Raise your hand, please, if you know the answer. A la Veronica, and then Nelson Eduardo. What about your sister? Is she working? Is she working? Don says, yes, she is. She has a part-time job at the university. What about you, Joel? Are you in school this summer? And Joel says, Nelson, yes, I am. Yes, I am studying two languages. I am studying two languages. And Don says, thank you, very good. And Don says, oh, about this one. Marina. 
Oh, you are taking French and Spanish again? It's a question, so. Uh, are you, are you taking French and Spanish? And Spanish again. Are you taking French and Spanish again? Okay. And Joel says, well, I am taking Spanish again, but I volunteer. Thank you, Marina. Uh, volunteer for this one. Luis Alfredo. But I am starting Japanese. But I am starting Japanese. Okay, correct. Don says, really? That's exciting. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay, we're just going to skip to the final exercise because we don't have much time right now. So just give me a moment. We're about to finish this. So th here's the lesson objective. That's 5.10. Okay, in this lesson, participants will read an article about families and their changes. In esta clase, los participantes leerán un artículo sobre familias y sus cambios. Okay, this is this is the last part. The change in family. Okay. What are we going to do? I'm going to read the first part, and then you will help me read the other parts, and then we're going to do the exercise. So let's take a look. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales, the parents, Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. What are the problems? Okay. What does Steve say? I need a volunteer, please. Jennifer Nusset. And then Marina and then Marjorie. So that Judy is working. Steven has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. He has to clean, he has to sweep, he has to mop, he has to dust, etc. etc. Okay, Marina Maya. The second one. What about Judy? What's the problem that Judy has? Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. And busy. She also busy. She mm -hmm. also works about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Yes, thank you. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Marjorie, please help me read Emily's problem. Emily is having a great time in her after-school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. That means after the classes, she has more activities and she likes them. But when Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. She's so like, no, mom, I want to stay here. So there you go. Ada Veronica, you're going to help me with the next photograph and then Luis Alfredo with the last one. How do you say? Unfor unfortunate. Un unfortunately. 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 Eso. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no, no. You say it, please. Unfor <laughs> okay, repeat after me, please. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh-huh. Unfortunately. 
then school doesn't have an after school school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoon in front of the TV. Yeah, unfortunately, which means desafortunadamente, unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he is spending most afternoons in front of the TV. And the last one, Luis Alfredo, please help me read Josh's problem. Josh, Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time up on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder. Pone la música más fuerte. And spending more time on the phone. He is also doing a few household chores. Se está encargando de algunas tareas caseras. Okay. Now that we have read the text, we have an exercise. The exercise is right here. Okay. This is a change in family. Okay. Uh, I just want you to answer. Which children are benefiting from Judy working? Miguel Antonio. Which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily and Josh. Emily and Josh. That is correct. Very good. Okay. Can you give me just a moment? I need to change something here. Just a second. Ooh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm just fixing this. Okay. So which children are benefiting from Judy working? Uh, those are Emily and Josh. What about number two? Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Juan Antonio Grande Paz. Ben. Ben. That is correct. Okay. Ben is not benefiting from Judy working. Okay. Because he's spending a lot of time watching TV in the afternoons. Thank you very much. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez, number three. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. Josh, okay, that is correct, okay? It is Josh because it says that Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. Okay, very nice, very nice. Number four. Which family members are doing more housework? Volunteers, please. Ada Veronica and then Stephanie Brenda Lee for the last one. And Steven. Steven is one. Okay, Steve is one. And who's the other one? If you notice in the question, which family members, plural, are doing more housework? So Steve is one of them. Who is the other one? Uh Steve and Ben. Ben. Are you sure? Let's take a look. Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. So is he doing any housework? Probably not. Mm. Who will that be? Steve, Steve and Josh. That is correct. Steve and Josh. Because according to this, he is also doing a few household chores. So yeah, he's taking care of the housework. Very good. Stephanie Brenda Lee, the last one is yours. Which family member feels too busy? Judy. Judy. Okay, yeah, that's Judy. Okay, yeah, correct. Now, Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. That is correct. And that's it. That's the... 
uh, reading section right there. Okay, everybody, it, we're almost done. So I'm just going to take the attendance list one more time for those who haven't replied. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Is Catherine Andreina online tonight? Catherine Andreina? Nope. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Is Luis Enrique online tonight? Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Nope. What about uh, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque? Present. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. What about Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar? Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, what about Pablo Josué? Present. Pablo Josué Cornejo. Okay, thank you, Pablo. All right, everybody. Um, aquí terminamos este nivel, ok. Si aún les falta algo por contestar en la plataforma, eh, sea en este caso, creo yo, el examen final, por favor, no se vayan a acostar sin contestarlos, se quedan sin esa nota, ok. Así que eh, yo creo que ya lo hicieron la mayoría, pero si no lo han hecho, por favor, tómense el tiempo de terminar el final exam, de acuerdo. Uh, no me queda más que agradecerles por su paciencia, por su dedicación, por su esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Y el empeño que han eh, mostrado durante este curso. ¿verdad? Así que eh, para mí ha sido muy agradable, ha sido un honor ser el facilitador de este nivel. Y pues espero tal vez en un futuro nos podamos encontrar nuevamente y pues tener de nuevo el agrado de servirles como facilitador. Ya no nos va a dar usted clase, dicho. Um, Creo que no, porque ya no voy en este horario. <laughs> Así que, por lo pronto, no. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, everybody, good night and good luck. Good night. Gracias por todo, teacher. Thank, good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for, for all. Good night. Okay. Good night. Take care. Muy profesional, gracias. Uh -huh.